Benjamin Cook's most famous canon consists of one melody played at different speeds and in different ranges. The subject appears in the highest voice. The same melody is heard in the lowest or bass voice, but with the note values doubled, making it twice as slow. See if you recognize it. In between these voices is the subject again in the middle voice, but this time even twice as slow as the bass voice. The subject's note values are now quadrupled. Let's listen to a string trio arrangement of this canon. It's transposed up just a step to the key of C major to fit the ranges of the instruments. To form the bass melody from this subject, each note value is doubled. Every eighth note will become a quarter note. Every quarter note will become a half note. And every half note will become a whole note. Because the notes are twice as slow, they will need to stretch out across the page. To form the middle melody, every quarter note of the bass melody will be doubled to form a half note. Every half note will become a whole note. And every whole note will become a double whole note, or breve. And the notes will have to stretch out even more across the page. The three voices begin together, but progress at different rates, augmented all the way through the end of the canon. The augmentation in this canon is remarkable to be sure, but Dr. Cook employed another clever contrapuntal feature in this canon to make it even more impressive to the composers of his day. That topic will have to wait for another video.